Hello and welcome to Kismet Rising. So today we are just doing three options of um, an oracle card reading. And the question we're asking is, what is it that you need to know right now? This is part of your weekly oracle card reading. I don't have any stones or any trinkets um, for you today. Please choose either number one, two or three and you can go down to the description box where you'll find your timestamp and we are using the deck of cards um called the um it's the uh enchanted map uh oracle cards by colette baron reed okay i'm gonna go ahead and give these cards a shuffle this is now for number one for those of you who've chosen the option number one you're asking what is it that you need to know right now And we have here this felt bright. We have the number 37. And we have cleaning house. All right, so this is interesting. So according to this card here, um, according to this message, well, according to the to what you need to hear, what those of you who chose number one need to hear, is that this is an, a good time to get rid of things, all right? Not just physical things, but perhaps people that no longer resonate with you. Perhaps um, uh, you're just getting rid of projects, perhaps, that have been hanging around collecting cobwebs. So, for instance, if you have a lot of things that you want to do and you are uh, basically, you know, you're spreading yourself too thin between a few things, this is a good time in which to look at just choosing one of those things and running with it. It is definitely a good time to clean up and to get rid of all things. It's definitely um, a good time to move furniture around your home and to be able to create a new environment for yourself, just a new energy. And this doesn't have to uh, use a lot of money. This doesn't have to, um, it's probably, it will take half a day of your time to just uh, freshen up the energy in your home. The other thing that this could pertain to is actually um, simply clearing out any worries and, and any unnecessary uh, thought patterns that you may have in your mind that, that occupy your mind. So it's like cleaning out, cleaning out what does not belong to you. Have you been holding some grudges? Have you been upset with somebody about something? Now is the time to get rid of those feelings, to put that to rest. It's you know, you've done it enough. Um, has somebody been taking up too much of your headspace and you haven't known how to get rid of it? Well, now's the time to sweep that person out of your life. Sweep those thoughts out of your life. You don't need to stop contact with them. You don't need to um, to actually, you know, think about just not having an, a relationship with them or something. But if they've been taking up too much of space in your life, now's the time to create more space in your life for you. That would, would be are more beneficial to you in the long run. So look at how you can clean house and whatever you need to do to clean, to actually clean house, whether it's just about neating up around your house, whether it's about neating up your thought patterns or your habits or whatever it is that is actually, um, where, where is your energy being lost? Where do you walk into a space and you feel like your energy is being depleted? Maybe it's your office. Maybe it's the home of your mother. Maybe it's the home of a friend or your boyfriend or your girlfriend well you know try to clear out the space all right so that is your message here uh, for those of you who've chosen the option number one i'm just going to go ahead and give these cards a shuffle oops i wasn't ready there so i'm just going to clear this the energy from these cards messages out here today all right so i'm ready now for those of you who've chosen the option number two what is it that you need to know right now what is it that you actually have come here to hear what is the most pertinent message for you today all right so i'm going to go ahead and ask all right and we have the card it came up pretty pretty quickly it's called moonlight and it's the number 51 all right, so Moonlight 51. Well, 
I think this pertains to the new moon that's coming up on the 1st of August. And I feel that these energies here have something to do with that. It's something to do with that moon, okay? So here I'm feeling, feeling that your energy right now um, can be enhanced or, or supported by the moon energy. So if you're having difficulties, if you're having troubles, it would be worthy to look up at the moon and um, and basically ask for guidance or, or meditate with moon energy or meditate with the moon. Just sit there and look at the moon and see what comes to mind or simply cleanse with moon, with the moon energy. So how would you do that? For instance, you could leave some water out um, under the moonlight and have it be charged by that. This is usually done around the full moon, but not on moons where there are eclipses. Um, and you know, you could you could use that water to kind of splash your face with it or to you could even drink it when you are feeling a bit low energy or you could sprinkle it around your house in order to cleanse it so what i'm feeling here is that what it is that you need to know what it is that's going to come to light for you is quite specific and it's going to come to light when you are outside um and basically staring at the moon or trying to just uh feel what the energy is that the moon is trying to convey to you and um yes i don't feel as much else to this message to be honest i feel that uh there is you know there could be something that's been bothering you for a while and that the um answer is not very clear the answer is quite complex and uh and the moonlight for instance will shine uh, a spotlight on one particular aspect which needs to be resolved so you might be in a sitting in a situation where you have like several things that are going wrong and or, or not per or not you know the, the best that they can be and you might be thinking okay well what do i do in this situation and you don't know where to begin and this moonlight this kind of energy that you'll get from the moon this lunar energy just by sitting there and feeling it and allowing yourself to absorb it it will actually shine a spotlight on where it is that you need to begin what it is that needs to be taken care of first what is where which knot needs to be untangled first so that all the other knots can be untangled okay so that is the kind of energy for this moon and it's it's also an energy that's calling for your isolation a little bit. So it's asking you to do this alone. It's asking you not to engage others or to engage the opinions of others uh, when you're finding the solution or when you're dealing with this particular week. But simply to go inward and be one with yourself and that uh, of you, which is divine, um, you know, to, to be in your spiritual space, your spiritual kind of cocoon in order to be able to find this and drawing on the energies of the universe, specifically the moon, okay, the lunar energy. So that is your message for those of you who have chosen the option number two. I'm now moving on to the option number three. First, I'm going to give the cards a shuffle. All right, so for those of you who've chosen the option number three, okay, the question we're asking today is what is it that you've come here to hear? What is it that you need to hear right now? And what is different about this week, okay, for you? So I'm just going to go ahead and give them a shuffle. This has come out. So the cards have been very specific today. I feel the messages are quite, they've you know, been very clear. Sometimes the cards are all over the place. So this card's definitely come out before uh, when I've used it for you, um, for this channel, that is. And it's the number 16, okay? And it's this woman who's there and there's a person who's kind of coming towards her. The card is titled Rescue, okay? So what I'm hearing here is that, uh, okay, so let me let me just tell you what I'm hearing here because it's kind of not exactly what the card's speaking of. So what I'm hearing here is that you don't actually need rescue. You kind of, uh, you can do quite fine without the rescue. And it might seem as if you might have people around you concerned about you, but you, you might be in a space where you are going inward and you are actually... Uh, taking time for yourself and forging your own path and you're happy with it and you're drawing 
energy from the elements, you know, uh, from the water, from the earth, and from your own strength. And it might seem as if you need rescuing, but actually you are fine the way you are. You don't need to be rescued. So if you're feeling in a bit of a desperate situation, um, the answer here is just go inward. Look inward. All right. Um, the, they're not saying don't accept the help from others here. You're welcome to accept the help help from others but what they're saying is that you don't actually need the rescuing so you don't really need anyone else but yourself so how does this apply to you well i feel that here um there is much that can flow from you if you are willing to actually give yourself the time to uh go inward and access your inner strengths and work with yourself and you might have some on watchers you might have those who are curious about what it is that you're doing and not really certain about about what you're doing or just maybe be a bit skeptical about it but it actually isn't something that you need to be concerned about um you can actually do this alone and you'll be fine doing it alone but it doesn't hurt to accept help okay uh, this is yours, okay? It, what is important here for you to understand is that this is yours. This is your venture. This is your life. This is your journey, all right? And those in your life are just spectators. They do not... Um, their journey is not intertwined with yours necessarily. It is so in that they are part of your lives and uh, you might have some connections with them, etc. Whether they familial collect connections or spiritual connections or just um, friends or acquaintances. But what I'm hearing here is that these people are not really a part of your journey your journey is one that is very specific and once in a while and now specifically is an important time to be able to define exactly what it is that is yours and understand that you're alone in this and that you have all the strength that you need to be able to walk this path or to be able to partake from this world in this way and everyone else is just spectators okay um I'm seeing that this person has her own universe. She has her own world. She exists in that and she's satisfied with that. And she doesn't need anyone to rescue her. She doesn't need anyone. They can be onlookers. They can be spectators. They can be friends. They can be a part of her life um, in some significant way. But they don't need to rescue her or to change her world. Her world is perfect as it is. And that applies to you, uh, whether you're male or a female. Uh, your world is perfect as it is right now. Simply draw on the strength that exists within you already and forge your path. And it seems like your path, forging your path is, is quite effortless as well. Like right now, what is more important is you just being rec rec um, being cognizant of your inner strength, all right? So I hope that message has resonated with you and I hope it's been useful for you today. And um, yeah, it's just been a quick one because I've actually, um, I'm just not at home right now and I've been doing this uh, on the road. So I hope that you guys are well and I'm wishing you very many blessings in the week ahead, ahead and much success as you go forth. I hope that these messages um, have assisted you in some way and uh, yeah, blessings abound from Kismet Rising. Much love.